Uh, since objects can be pretty simple like this, by default they're just always 50,000 triangles, uh, we can keep the texture after remeshing it, which built in a blender, there's this remesh feature down here uh, that works pretty well, but it deletes the UV maps and the texture. So instead of doing that, first we're going to object duplicate. Right click to just keep it in the same place that's important and we can hide the old one and the voxel remesh uh, you're gonna have to pick a number here that works a bit better so 0.5 should be good and fixed poles can help so that looks a little bit better see there's no texture uh if you look at the old model uh, we're gonna have to do a few things to bake this texture so first we have to delete scene and rename the low poly one to lp high poly one to hp i'm using a plugin that's free i'll put the link uh, you just scroll down here and download this one and go to preferences, add ons, install, and install that, turn it on. Now, when you go to UV editing, there'll be an extra menu in here called text tools. We go into object mode and select both of them select all we'll do it if we go down to baking see this We've got to switch it to fuse turn up the cage diffuse cage extrusion that sort of makes a bubble around because there uh there's overlapping shapes here so it'll sort of uh make one of them bigger when it bakes just to make a uh, thing smoother but uh the only other thing we have to do is switch it to cycles in here and hit bake oh missed one step go to into object mode select all uv smart uv project and i usually use settings like this that'll create a new uv map for the new low poly object. Now go to object mode, select all, try bake again. There we go, there's a whole new texture. And make sure to go to image and save as somewhere. And if you hide the high poly one and look at it in the material preview, see it's broken. I didn't press the preview texture button. And there we go. There's a low poly object, only 3,000 triangles. It looks pretty much as good. Uh, just as a quick note, you can try the decimate modifier. You're gonna have some issues. Like you'll see, it starts to have holes in the object because it's all split apart. You can try going into edit mode, selecting everything, and uh, Mesh clean up merge by distance that'll remove all the vertices to make it all one object and that'll fix it somewhat. But then you'll have these distortions where like triangles will be just completely messed up. So that's why I recommend the first method I showed. But this is a quicker, easier, and doesn't require a plugin. But uh, here are two options.